Hi everyone, welcome to another cosplay tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up cosplay for having several machines running at the same field at the same time. Today we're on Goldcrest Valley and field number 26 is ready for seeding. And to do that task, I have these two tractors standing ready with two identical seeders. Now that's one thing you want to keep in mind when you set up several machinery at the same course. Do keep the same machinery, do use the same machinery. These two tractors are the exact same model and the exact same horsepower and so on. And the machinery behind them are the exact same machine. So keep that in mind when you set up the course. So the first thing we want to do is we want to jump into a tractor and open the cosplay hut, which we do by clicking the right mouse button. Once we're in the cosplay hut, we want to go into the fertilizer and seeding mode, which is this button here. And that opens the course generation button up here. And in here, we're going to select the field edge path or field edge path, which is field number 26 in this matter here, on this case here. So there we go. And we can we can verify that it is field number 26 by clicking the eyeball over here. That will show us a blue line all around the perimeter of the field. So now that we're sure that we have the right field, let's click that away again. And the working width of this machinery here is nine meters. And um, we have two of the machineries running this course, so we want to double the working width. So we want a total of 18 meters. Like so. The starting corner is going to be this corner up here, which is the northernmost eastern corner. So northeast, like that. And we'll be heading west for this one here. We don't want to return to the first point and we don't really care about headlands. So we're ready to generate the course, which we do here. There we go. So now we can see that the course is set up right there. There we go. So this is the center of the course. So from the center here to the edge of the field is exactly nine meters. And from the center here to the other edge of this course is exactly nine meters. So that means that we have to set an offset on this course of on the tractor. Otherwise, this tractor, if I just click uh, uh, drive course now, this tractor here will go and position itself with this course right in the center of the tractor, or this line right in the center of the tractor. So I need to tell this tractor to go to the left of the center line. And I do that by going into the driving settings, which is this button here that has a tractor on it. So I'm going to go into lane offset, and I want to be to the left of the center course. Now, I want the tractor here I'm just going to unfold the equipment behind us I want the tractor to drive like that um, I want the tractor to drive so I know that this edge here of the sewing machine is at the edge of that core so I know I want nine meters from here to the edge of that one and in between there right in the center of that is where I want the tractor to drive that means that I have I have to halve the width of the machinery here in order to achieve what I need. So I want it to drive four and a half meters to the left of the center line. I hope that made sense. I'm basically taking half the width of the machinery and put it as my offset because I have half the machinery over here to the right of me. And once I click start driving, the edge of the machinery on my right is going to just be on the center line here. And uh, this should work. So basically, that's how you do that. Symmetric lane change, we want this activated. And I'm going to tell you why when we get to this tractor over here. All right, we should be ready to go. Um, an, an important thing when you do this is you want to have the tractor closest to the middle of the field start out. So we want to set this tractor off driving before we start the other tractor. So let's just un or let's just fold the equipment again, start up the engine. Here we go. And drive course. And let's deactivate the ridge markers. That's an important thing when you're doing this seeding stuff. Alright, that driver is off and let's set up set up this one over here so again into the fertilizer seeding mode over here and this time we do not go into the course generation button we are going to go into the driving settings because in the driving settings we have a button down here that says copy course and we can copy the course of the Mr. Ferguson 8700 that we just set off so we're going to click this icon there and now we have the same course loaded so this time we want to be four and a half meters to the right of the center line
and here we go and symmetric lane change we want that activated again and I'm just gonna set him off and I'm gonna explain what symmetric lane change actually is if we didn't use symmetric lane change and we had set this tractor off first when it reaches the end of this field it would go it would go down um, right next to itself so it would actually collide with this tractor that is a oh rich markers my bad it would collide with the tractor driving down here now this tractor once it, re it reaches the end of the field it's going to skip a lane otherwise it would just turn around and go down this right next to itself but it's going to skip a lane because this one is told to skip a lane symmetric lane chain basically tells it to skip a lane and we need to do that otherwise these tractors will collide into each other they will drive right next to each other and as you can tell it is exactly in the center so they will get stuck in traffic if we don't use symmetric lane chains so keep that in mind when you set up these courses symmetric lane chains is your friend if you don't do it you are gonna end up with tractors uh, getting stuck in traffic but this is going fine now this is going act actually quite good so these two tractors are off and as you can tell he skipped the lane over here so this tractor is going to skip a lane and go to the next one and this is done because of symmetric lane change and he's going to back down it's a very very slow turning uh, maneuver he's doing here but I'm not going to change it it's going to go just fine And he's going to reverse back to the edge of the field and then he's going to go down like the other tractor is doing right now. So that's how to set up uh, several machinery on the same course or on the same field at the same time. Now doing it with two machinery is fairly easy because you, all you need to do is set up a course uh, where the working width is multiplied by two and you just need to set an offset of half the width of the machinery. That's fairly easy. and. As long as you remember to set symmetric uh, lane change, you are good. You're not going to get into any trouble. Where it starts to get a little bit more tricky, but where you can have a lot more fun with it as well, if when you start to use more than two equipment. So let's jump into here, over here. Because over here I have field number 20 on Goldcrest Valley ready for harvest. And I have three combine harvesters ready to do the job for us. I also have a overloader, a tractor with an overloader, ready to chase the combines on the field. And I have a tractor here, ready to drive the grain back to the uh, farm. So let's set up a couple of courses for this. First of all, let's set up the carding uh, course, which we're going to use this tractor for. And we're just going to position this tractor on the edge of the field over here and this seems like a good spot right there so in the cosplay hut we want to go into the grain transport mode which is this button here and let's start the course recording as always you want three va uh, three waypoints in a relatively straight line there we go and now we're going to drive to the side of the road so we can have several multi uh, several course play courses running at the same time and we're driving onto a road with ai traffic so keep that in mind and slow down so you give course play a chance to detect if there's any traffic once it uh, pulls onto the road so we're just going to drive back to the silo where we're going to unload and then go back to the field and that's a very simple transport course and you can see that course in many uh, other videos that I've made it's nothing uh, nothing new about this course it's just very very cool that you can set up course play to do all of this work for you so here we're gonna drive into the tip trigger which is up here and we're just gonna slow down we're not gonna set a waypoint or a stop point or anything we're just gonna go over the trigger and once course play is running the course it will detect the trigger and it will automatically start unloading so we don't need to do anything just drive over it and straight back to the field again here we go 
And once we are approaching this road again, keep in mind that it is a road with AI traffic, so you want to slow down a little bit to give Coursepay a chance to detect the traffic. And as always with these uh, courses on roads with AI traffic, it's a good idea to record the course without any traffic on the road. I forgot about that, so I'm probably going to get stuck in traffic here, but it doesn't really matter. It's not too bad. Here we go. We are slowing down for the field anyway. All right, let's head back to the start point of the course and let's stop the recording there. Here we go. All right, stop the course recording. And we are going to transport barley. This field is uh, planted with barley. The number of runs to perform we're going to set to unlimited. And we're going to start the course at the first waypoint and drive course. So now she's going to start or she's going to drive up to the waypoint there. So now we have this one set up here ready to go. And the next thing we want to set up is the combine harvesters. So we're going to jump into the middle combine harvester first. And let's start up the engine and unfold it. And we're going to open the course play hut. And in here we want to be in the field work mode. Let's go into the course generation. And let's select field number 20. There we go. Now the working with on, on this setup here is going to be these three combines combined. Which meaning that we're going to multiply these 7 meters by 3. So we're going to scroll up to 21 meters. Or you can use the plus and minus out here. There we go, 21 meters. The starting corner is going to be this corner down here, which is the southernmost western corner, so southwest. And we're going to be heading north. We don't want to return to the first point, and we don't want any headlands, so we can generate the course now. So here we go, we have the center of the course right there. That's the start point. And we want this combine harvester to have a center line, or to drive the center of the course. So we're not going to set any offset on this combine harvester here. This is the easy combine harvester. All right, so let's set it up over here. Again, let's start up the engine and unfold it. And open the course play hard. And let's go into field work mode. And now we're gonna go into the driving settings because we're gonna record or we're gonna copy the course from the A cross 595 plus, which is seven meters away from us, like that. So now we have this course loaded. So this time we want an offset to the left of the center, but we're not going to have to divide the working width of this one because we have the center of this combine running that course. And from the center of the combine to the edge of the cutting board is three and a half meters because that would be the half of the width of it. And that would apply to this combine here from the, uh, from the edge of the cutting board to the center of this combine is another three and a half meters. So that would be seven meters. So we basically want this one to be 7 meters to the left of uh, the center line. So let's scroll up to that. There we go. And again we want symmetric lane change to be activated. There we go. So as you can tell with an uneven number of machinery, um, it's a little bit more complicated but it's not too bad if you just uh, if you just use common sense. Again, we want to be in this mode here. There we go. And we're going to copy the course from the Acres 595. Let's copy. There we go. And this time we want to be 7 meters to the right of the center line. So 7 meters. Oh, that was left. There we go. 7 meters to the right. like so and uh, activate symmetric lane change again when you set this up you want to start with the machinery closest to the middle of the field so this combine here to the far right is the one that we're going to set off um, well that's the one that we're going to send on the course first so let's start up the uh, the thresher and drive at the first waypoint so off he goes So that combine harvester is off. The next one we want to set off, set off is this one here. But we're going to allow a little bit of room for these combine harvesters. Otherwise, they're going to get stuck in traffic and stuff like that. Oh, well, actually, we, we want to give the chasers some room to 
go in between the combine harvesters. So it's a good idea to give them some space before you start sending off the other combine. So let's just wait a little bit. And off you go. All right, so he's off. And then this one finally. Again, let's wait a little bit. So we give the chaser some some room so it can go in between the combine harvesters. And let's see if this is this should work. All right, off you go, and let's set up a course for the chaser here. So in the overload tractor, uh, you're going to set up a course within the field here. So we're basically just going to start the course recording in the field here. Like so, this is a good place to start it. And we want to be in the overload mode, which is this button here. So let's start the course recording. And again, three waypoints in a relatively straight line. Here we go, that was two and three. And now we're going to drive down to the edge of the field, where we're going to position ourselves in a position where we can unload into the trailer. And that would be just about here. Seems about right. So we're going to set a wait point here to indicate this is where it has to overload. And once it's done with that, it can go up here. There we go. Let's stop the course recording there. Seems about right. And now we're basically done with that. So we, if we go into the Manage Combine, uh, button which is this one here we're going to set find combine to automatic search which means that this tractor here will scan the field that it's in for any combines in here so it would it will detect all three of these combines and believe it or not it can keep track on which combine needs to be unloaded so let's just drive the course and it should detect that uh, if we take this one there we go so we detected that the first combine is ready for unloading. I'm not driving the tractor now. It is all cosplay doing everything. So it has detected that there's a combine ready for unloading. I think it's actually the first combine. Or the, lad the latest combine. Well that's okay. I would have preferred it to take uh, another combine harvester. I would have preferred if it had chosen that one. But it's an automatic scan, so it's just going to scan um, for the nearest combine that is ready for unloading. I guess that's basically how that works. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, though. Except for that. Right, okay. Well, there we go. Actually, let's go into the field again. Well, those are some of the issues that you're going to have to deal with when you set up this initially. Uh, at some point, this will go perfectly. I've tested it thoroughly, and I tell you what, it is actually working perfectly. All right, so it's detected that another combine is ready for unloading. Probably combine number two up here. So to set it off, it can be a little bit tricky and uh, you might want to keep an eye on it just in the beginning here getting it working perfectly is a little bit of a task and it can be a little bit tedious but once it's running it's working perfectly and now the first um, cedar is, is done okay so it's detected this combine harvester here which is perfect it's going to drive up on the side of it And it's going to allow the combine harvester to unload into the overloader. Here we go.
and you can tell over here that the Acros 595 Plus 5 that's the one there is in traffic and that's basically because it is overlapping just like with a millimeter it's really really close all right the two seaters are done with their work uh, we're gonna go over to them in a little while we just want this to be done here now it's a little bit of a shame that it started out this way because now these combines are gonna get stuck in traffic but hopefully we will manage now as I said in the beginning you will have a little bit of a weird situation with cosplay here but eventually it will go as you want it to and you can tell it wasn't even too bad here there's a lot of driving into the crop isn't there now thankfully crop destruction is not activated in cosplay uh, from version 5.01.00109 I believe it was so you don't need to worry too much about the crop destruction once uh, as long as you have cosplay doing the driving alright so now it seems to go a little bit smoother than it did just now or just before As a matter of fact, we're going to run over to the carding tractor over here and, and let's just make sure that once the overloader comes over here, everything seems to be working fine. Or everything should be working fine. So let's, let's get a ride over here with this driver here. So she's just waiting for the overloader to come over and unload into the trailer. Which basically should be just about now. I think it is full enough to do that. And it seems a little bit weird just in the beginning here, but it will work. I can guarantee it. And now it's going to tell the middle combine that it's okay to drive on. And there we go. And is it driving up to the first combine now? I think it actually is. But this is going absolutely great now. These combine harvesters are doing just fine on their own. Um, and it looks really cool, doesn't it? It looks really cool having three combine harvesters on the same field and they're just doing the job. You don't need to do anything. In fact, if I click on this button here, now these um, notifications you get over here you can click on the icon out here and you will jump straight to the tractor that it's telling you about so let's do that let's gonna let's go over to the Mesa Ferguson 8700 number one over here you can tell that it's done this field is done and we don't need to worry more about it so let's stop that driver and let's stop this driver as well and they're done seeding this field here perfectly done you can tell uh, in the bottom right corner of my um, of my screen that the field has now been seeded with weed and they've done a perfect perfectly good job all right let's head back to the combine harvesters over here and they're doing just fine and I think the overloader is um, is ready to unload into this one here so let's just jump into the grain carding tractor and follow this course here and then we should be done with the video yep the overloader has the beacon turned on and it's gonna drive over here
and I'm just going to make sure that this one drives off drive one at 20% that's good all right so as soon as the overloader is done this tractor is going to set off So the overloader tractor is going to be really, really busy setting up a course like this. But as you can tell, you can have one overloader servicing three combine harvesters. There's no issue in that. It will work. Now, of course, the bigger the combine harvester, the harder it is for the overloader to actually do that task. But I'm quite sure you can make it work. All right, so this one should be setting off now. There we go, engine started up, and off we go. So the big question now is how much traffic are we going to encounter on this, on this drive here? It seems like we are going to get stuck in traffic with those two cars up ahead there. No, we're not. We were lucky. And here we are going back to the farm. So far it's going quite well. The only hiccup we've had was with the first uh, combine unloading into the overloader where it got stuck on a tree. Other than that, it's gone really, really good. And you can tell that uh, the cosplay had detected the tip trigger and now it's uh, gonna unload here. Wow. That's a heavy trailer, isn't it? Look, it's lifting up the back of the tractor. Wow, that is a heavy trailer. All right, back to the field. Come on, this is a sports tractor. You, you can do better than this. Let's push those kilometers an hour. There we go, 73 kilometers an hour. And are we lucky? Oh, I think we are. Yes, we are lucky. There was no traffic here. Now, of course, um, Courseplay can't take the traffic into consideration. So you are going to have to give Courseplay a little bit of time to adjust to the traffic when you record the courses. And that's why I slow down when I drive onto a road with AI traffic. But as you can tell, this is going great. The combine harvesters are doing their job. The overloader is doing its job. Uh, the grain carting is doing its job. Everything is working fine and I'm not doing anything at all. All I did was record the courses and set up the courses for the tractors and the machinery and press start. And that was basically it. So as you can tell, it's working really, really great. All right, guys. As you can tell, it's working, so if you have any questions or any comments, do post them down below. I know this was a quite advanced course play setup, but if you've kept track of what I've done and if you followed along, I'm quite sure you can make it work on, on, your, own, um, on your own farming simulator map. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye for now.